Crappy Peep Susanna here today for Pear Tree Cut Files. This is my first video that I'm creating for uh, the new design team, and this is the layout. So all of us that uh, have the time, we're going to use this new cut file uh, with this photo announcing the new design team. Um, so the cut file says there's a cut file for that, which is one of the hashtags that is um, a Pear Tree Cut Files hashtag that we use when we are sharing our design team products or, or projects. So I have a striped border. I am using the, I think it's the Love Notes collection from Doodlebug from 2019. So this is kind of digging back into my stash um, from the scrap room. And the reason I am using this is because it has that green that is the characteristic green that is in the, um, the I'll call it the logo for Pear Tree. Um, and so in the plaid, that coordinates with this collection is actually that green and that's how I incorporate that green into all of this color palette. The green is also in the florals, um, although none of the papers that I got actually had that green. So there's a cut file for that is one file and I've cut that out of, um, it's a tone on tone green and then I'm going to put the innards of cut file using that plaid and then the uh, pear is a cut file that I separated from a separate pear tree cut files file um, and I'm going to just use the outer border of that and then the innard I will just create my own watercolor pear. Um, and so what I've done is the left hand side it's actually a traveler's notebook page. It's actually a three by eight um, that says moments like these is from in a creative bubble. And I just like the way that that gave, gave me a journaling spot there. Um, and so I have a lot on that left bottom left hand side of the layout. And I wanted I knew I wanted something up the top right that was going to create balance for that and draw your eye in that diagonal line across the page. What I struggled with here was I knew I was going to use a tag up there. I knew I wanted the pair up there and I knew I wanted this this. Um, we'll call it aqua color that ties that left hand side into the right hand side. I wanted all of the colors um, and I liked that three by eight card also from uh, in a creative bubble that said remember this but remember this wasn't going to work. It was too long and it created a T um, effect at that top right which didn't go with what that huge cluster at the bottom left there. Um, so I ended up cutting it down to remember and I liked the look of that. Um, I thought that that pink was going to be a nice way of pulling all of the color together, but I got stuck with it. And so I'm just going to move on and start working on the adhering the cut file because I can't, I need to take a break from that. I was struggling with that. So I'm using my liquid adhesive, my Ultra Bond, to just put fine lines of adhesive onto the cut file. I love using the metal tip as perfect when you're using digital cut files to get things adhered. Um, and you can always pull it up just a little bit and uh, be able to get those finer details in. And then I went in with my Silhouette Studio Design Studio whatever it is that I use, and I broke apart the file so that I could just get the inner layers. So what you have to do is you have to, um, it comes as an SVG file, and then with the SVG file you need to say create, oh, what is it, create compound path, and then you need to unlink create, a bit break apart the compound path. I can't remember what that is. And that allows you to then have the innards um, uh, that I cut with the plaid that I was then using right there to back that file with. So I don't actually back it with paper and pencil. I let my machine do the cutting for me there. Um, so you can see all of the color there with that nice black and white photo of all of us that are on the team. Uh, I believe there are four um, newbies, me being one of them, um, on the team. And I will journal in type, I, I use my typewriter to do the journaling on the left hand side, but I will do that off camera. It actually, my typewriter um, did not 
cooperate with me. And so some of it is a little bunched up and some of it ends up actually being my writing, but that's okay. So I didn't like the pink, um, but I do like the hint of color from the flowers there. And then remember, we'll go horizontally. My original intent had had it for had been for it to go vertically, uh, but it was too it, it didn't fit and it was distracting. And you actually read there's a cut file horizontally, so to have that um, remember going horizontal worked just fine. But it gave you that aqua color on the top right there. So I'm going to use this stamp border punch from American Crafts to stamp that out and then the negative from that I am actually going to use um, on the uh, on top of moments like these and I believe I do that off camera because I felt like I needed a little bit more of that aqua um, and it was a perfect way to create that border on that three by eight card there. So that admit one ticket is from uh, the back of one of the pattern papers and I just fussy cut that out. Now I'm using some, these are actually Bella Boulevard stickers, but I'm going to um, add some Ellie's Studio to add more color to that. Again, just for sprinklings to create a uh, visual triangle, uh, a trio of those puffy hearts. So I didn't like the tone on tone that was a way too bright a green and I wanted a softer green and so I'm going to mix using my Jane Davenport watercolors the green with a little bit of yellow. So right here on screen it's because of these lights that I'm using it looks very yellow but it really is more of a yellowy green a lime green um, and much softer look that I will, I could have run this through my silhouette, but at the time I just wanted to get um, this done. I didn't, and it was easy, it's an easy shape to fussy cut. So I literally just traced the innard um, and now I'm just going to use my scissors to fussy cut the innard of the pear so that I have um, more of a tone on tone than the same pattern paper. Again, using some liquid adhesive to apply that up there. Um, I like having that little pear, knowing that it's the pear tree cut files design team. Um, and then there's that little pink ticket that I referenced earlier that says admit one. And I just like the play on that, that I was um, admitted to be part of the club, team pear tree cut files club. Um, <laughs> so, and, uh, the ticket really literally just serves as, as a decorative purpose there. So that was some Ellie Studios puffy letters, and I thought that I wanted to use those, but they're not quite green enough. They had more blue to them than green. Uh, so I'm going to set those aside and dig through my stash and look for something else to put pear tree cut files down the bottom there. Um, so I end up going with these green. They're definitely more green than the green. It's a slightly different hue than the green that's in the border. Um, but I like it. Um, I, I, and I didn't have that same green in puffy letters that was in the, there's a cut file for that. And I could have cut them using my silhouette, but I really wanted to use the dimension of the puffy letters and I happened to have enough letters to make it all work. So that is what I ended up doing. Um, all of the design team gals, I believe all of us did do this challenge, um, using that cut file and, the same photo so be sure to go and check out what all of the other ladies from the design team have created there are some absolutely amazing creations and you are in for a great six months um, so be sure to check out pear tree cut files and the awesome files that marie makes and the close-ups are coming up if you have any questions please don't hesitate to leave them in the box down below thanks for stopping in today come back again soon take care